It's Sunday, set up time. Hi friends, welcome if you're new and if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. <coughs> I'm not feeling too hot. As you can hear in my voice, <laughs> I thought it was getting better, but it seems like it's getting worse and now it's like down on my chest and I'm coughing. Ava had a slight cold and you know how they are when they get sick. It's like they want to be in the bed with you and she wanted to cuddle with me. And of course she was hacking in my face accidentally, of course, and I caught it and now it seems like it's way worse. It's like a, a worse a much worse cold than I thought so that just throws a wrench in all of my plans luckily yesterday I, was fin I had yesterday I had much more energy so yesterday I like did all the laundry and I did their uniforms and I um, did some work did some editing and did this week's Sunday setup so I did that but today I had planned on cooking a big dinner I was gonna have my parents over and everything to eat dinner and um, take the girls braids down uh, and then make my plans for what I'm gonna declutter for next week and do like my, my monthly monthly planning for October and everything. But now I'm like, oh, I just don't feel well. Um, I want to have the energy, you know. Us moms, we don't get any days off, you know. So um, I'm gonna try to rest up this this morning. It's early. The girls are at my parents. Luckily, they took them yesterday afternoon. Um, so that's how I was able to get so much work done, but I'm gonna try to rest up and get my energy up and eat a good breakfast and hopefully I'll have energy for the afternoon. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> but I sent Hubby to the grocery store to get my uh, groceries, get our groceries for the week and he's texting me asking me well, which grapes will Zara eat and what should I get one head of, lab head of cabbage or two? I love it when he texts me because if he just grabs and goes, it, it's it's never a good thing. So I'm glad he's texting. Always text text and ask if you are in question, you know. So I was just sitting here. This scripture was um on my Bible app, so I wrote it down and um, I read it in the Bible. It's really good. It's a very powerful scripture too about all who do evil hate the light and refuse to go near it for fear their sins will be exposed but those who do what is right come to the light so others can see that they are doing what god wants that's from john chapter 3 verses 20 through 21 just thought i'd share that so uh okay there's nobody here which is very rare on a sunday so i'm like really enjoying this i'm blasting my music loud um i just uh, read a little bit of my bible and stuff and so um, all the stuff for this week's Sunday setup is already up and going. You see, you guys seem to really like um, me posting it in the morning, posting my Sunday setups in the morning because I ran that poll last uh, week. So I'm definitely going to stick with that. Um, but so for right now, I think what I'm going to do is get ready to think about what I want to clutter, what I want to declutter for this week coming up for this week's video let me let me give you an update on my office also let me address a lot of comments that I received from last week's Sunday setup um, that I didn't get it to well actually it was probably two weeks ago Sunday setup that I didn't get to address in last week's Sunday setup when you guys saw how much learning material I have and a lot of you guys were like well why do you have so much learning material at home do the girls not go to a good school or um, do you homeschool? Like, why do you have so much? Okay. So here's the thing. My girls go to an excellent school. They went to an excellent Montessori preschool and kindergarten. They go to an excellent charter school here. Um, they learn another language during, in there and everything. It's great. Um, I love their new school that they're at. Um, but the thing is, my mother-in-law is a retired school teacher. She just retired. Hi, mommy-in-law, if you're watching. She just retired just this past year. She taught first, second, and third grade for over 35 years. So she has like 90% of the stuff that you see down here, she has sent me. And um, 
I'm just, I want to have an opportunity to, to, to do it with my girls if that's something that they want to do. Like, a lot of times, like, even yesterday, Zara pulled some stuff out and started doing it. Like, learning stuff, you know? A lot of manipulatives and games, learning games and stuff like that. So, I, I'm just, I want to have an opportunity to try to get, do it if I can. Now, if I can't get to it, then I'm more than happy to donate it to a homeschooling group or um, a church preschool or maybe their old daycare or anything like that. I'm, I'm definitely willing, I'm gonna donate it if we don't get to it. But at this point, I don't wanna donate it because there are so many great materials, so many great resources that she gave us as a family and that's just something that I wanna keep right now. So that is why I have so much learning stuff. Plus, we love to do learning games together. We like to do arts and crafts together. They love these like learning boards. I did a whole video about how I did a lot of supplemental learning with them in kindergarten. You can tap this eye right here. Um, you know, it was important to me. Here's the thing. Education is incredibly important to me. I don't put all of my eggs in there into all of my hopes and dreams and desires of what I want my children to learn in school. Okay, there are lots of things that I want to teach my kids. Like I felt it was my personal responsibility to teach them how to read. So both of them were reading at three years old because I wanted that for them. You know what I mean? I didn't put it on their teachers. Now listen, that's just my philosophy. I'm not saying you're wrong if you just like to send your kids to school and then you don't do any learning at home. That's fine too. You got to do whatever works for your family. But for me, I like for my kids to want to read different types of books and want to use different um, manipulatives when learning and just learning in different ways so they can develop that learning skill as they get older and they figure out what's their best way to memorize things, what's their best way to understand and learn things. Um, and they don't know unless they're given that opportunity to learn different ways because usually in school they teach you one specific way and that's just memorization. So that's just my personal philosophy. So that is why I have lots and lots and lots and lots of different learning things. Now, um, yeah, all the stuff on the floor I'm going to keep. Of course, I've got to organize it in a, a, a good way. But let me show you what, you know, I accomplished this week. Hopefully you saw the video where I decluttered this corner of my office. If you haven't, you can tap this eye right here. But I did this. I'm so proud of myself, right? This is trash and that we're keeping but all of this is 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 fresh it's gone you know so this is a donate bag from me going through everything in here and this is what i'm keeping in my office now you're probably thinking gia why is there so much stuff it really isn't that much stuff i have these bins here there's five of them two of them are actually absolutely empty so i i don't know if i'm gonna get rid of these bins see they take up this whole thing here um, that's why this and this is just some of my journals and empty notebooks that I keep buying and buying like little books like this I <laughs> just buy I told myself I'm not gonna buy anymore and so <clears throat> excuse me this is stuff that I'm gonna be giving to their old daycare and this is like I said the stuff that we're gonna keep now let me give you an update on their playroom and all of my donation pile is gone that some of those unopened toys I'm gonna save for toys for tots you guys are right I, you, you guys left so many comments about saving the unopened toys for toys for tots so that is what I'm gonna do but all the rest of the stuff is gone girl you remember what it looked like okay now don't be alarmed when I show you this in here are you ready are you screaming <laughs> don't freak out okay but let me show you the closet. Let me show you what hubby and my dad did. Are you ready? Now you remember what this looked like before. I'll put, insert some footage here of what it looked like when we first started. I mean, it was just stuff thrown in here. And then I um, took everything out, cleaned it out. And it had now it, it was starting to look like this where I had their learning stuff in here. We just had that one wire shelf in there but I wanted more shelving in here and this is what so the first thing they had to do was remove everything from the closet everything that was on the floor you know I had my caddies in there my learning caddies and everything so my husband removed all of that and everything that was on that top wire rack and well, you see my dad bent down there because we had a hole in the wall because we had some uh, a leak in that guest bathroom in there and they had to cut a hole in the wall to fix it to fix the leak and so my dad is putting like a little door panel on top of that um, so that you know if we ever had a leak again we can easily access that area so they're just fixing that at this point
So we decided to go with the Rubbermaid custom shelving and closet systems. We got it from Home Depot. And what I love about this closet system is that you purchase these rails so that you can literally customize the closet to be anything that you want it to be. So in the future, if the, we turn this room into a bedroom, we can easily add rails for hanging clothes or actual drawers or anything that we want. Um, and this closet system is very similar to the Alpha customized closet system from the container store, but a lot cheaper. So each one of those rails that you see my husband adding there were like $11 each. So I mean, it's not cheap, but at least we do this once and then we can just customize it to whatever we want it to be, you know, in the future. So um, yeah, those rails were $11 each and then you buy the shelving to put on top of it. We just wanted plain white shelving. Again, you can add a rail you can add drawers you can add um, bins whatever you want to do really um, Rubbermaid has this whole line of things you can either get it at Lowe's or Home Depot and this is not sponsored by them whatsoever we paid for this with our own money and so there you see that's what the shelving actually looked like and I love it I absolutely love it um, and again we'll be able to easily and and cheaply change it back to adding you know like I said space for hanging a closet or whatever whenever we need to m change this room into a bedroom so this is what it looks like now I'm so happy so they had to putty the holes that they put in um, and so my husband has to uh, file this down shave this down um, and then I mean, the goal is probably to repaint in here. I don't know. I get so scared when it comes to painting, but um, for right now, I am just so happy to have this storage in here, you know? And so all of this stuff came from in the closet, right? So like I said, a lot of the unopened toys I'm saving for Toys for Tots, um, but all the learning stuff is going back in there. I'm going back and forth if I'm gonna keep this or not because all this holds is just their Barbies for up here, really. So, um, but I'm gonna decide. Oops. Come on, girl. I'm gonna decide, you know, before I put everything back in what to put. So that's why I need to like figure out what I'm going to. Um, use to organize this stuff. I love this this storage system because it's adjustable. And when we, we need to um, transform this back into like a closet for clothes, we can easily do that because of these railings here. You can add a um, hanging rack and everything you want. It's it's similar to the Elf, Alpha system from the Container Starber Girl, but half the price girl because nobody's paying all that. But I'm so happy. I did that height specifically so that these oops can fit these can fit in here I can't fit this way though well i guess they can but these can fit easily so yeah i'm really really happy so um yeah this is going to be a work in progress though now i can't keep that this let this room like this you know as a matter of fact we'll probably have to decide um, today to put this stuff back because the girls have been doing their homework in here. We color in here every week. They've been working in here. They still play in here and watch TV in here. So we can't leave this like this. It's just not a productive environment when all this stuff is in here. So I'm going to see what my husband can do today as far as filing it down. And then I'll put this stuff back. And then, um, you know, I'll just put this stuff in there for now until I can figure out how I'm going to, um, what I'm going to get to organize all the stuff that I have downstairs like all the books and the manipulatives and stuff like that so girl I'm feeling good okay I am feeling good my my dad filled up his entire f-150 the the back of his truck full of that stuff that was down there I would say at least you know there was that house and then there was I think three of those large kind of lawn and leaf super large bags full of toys and stuff that we're just donating we're getting rid of because i have to measure my success on how much i'm actually getting out of my house i'm not measuring my success based on okay well let me rearrange this or let me put this in this part of the house no it's the stuff that it's getting out of here that's how i am um measuring my success now as i get closer to the playroom being finished, I start envisioning what I want this room to me to be. 
my office and I have these dreams y'all and I just cannot wait to paint in here and there's certain like desk and look that I want in here this space will finally just be mine this is the only space in the house that will just be mine and I'm so so excited about it if you have any recommendations about paint let me know I have a very open floor plan so I can't put something like hot pink in here and then the rest of the house is you know beige <laughs> essentially <clears throat> but I'm thinking more of like a gray beige maybe an accessibly beige kind of color something that will complement the rest of the house because like I said I can't you know just paint it flamingo pink so that's where I'm going and I'm like really happy guys it makes me so excited it makes me so 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 excited um and pumped up just ready to do more and more and more it's Publix haul time hubby's back from the store let me show you what he got he needed to get lunch stuff for the girls for this week and then for the dinner that I'm cooking tonight for my parents I'm still gonna go ahead and do it um I'm feeling a little bit better or at least my energy is so we got some halos some turkey um sliced turkey before sandwiches this week some pretzel sticks i'm gonna try it with white bread typically we use this oatmeal bread and they like it for toast and stuff but for sandwiches it's i mean i don't know it's coming out of the freezer so it's not as soft so i got this white bread to see if they'll like the sandwiches better with that i'm gonna be making some smothered cabbage today and a baked sweet potato um and a roasted chicken some blueberries, strawberries, and grapes for the girls. And I believe that's it. That's it from Publix. Altogether, he spent $48. $48.01. That is expensive because Publix is high. Um, the most expensive thing he bought was the chicken, which was on sale for $7.48. And and then the grapes were expensive at $6.19 and the cabbage and yeah that's it see things just add up so quick at Publix but anyway I'm gonna put this stuff up and I'm not gonna start cooking because the chicken probably take about an hour and a half to cook it. I'm gonna roast it in the oven so um, I will get everything start getting everything together at around two o'clock I just took one of these purple things out in here I have like some of my craft stickers and labels and stuff and glue sticks. This is where I'm going to keep all of my planner stuff. Um, washi tape and stuff like that. I don't use it often but I do sometimes. So I'm getting ready to plan for the month of October. I still use my Erin Condren um, planner. I have a link in the description box and you can get I think $10 off if you use the link it's an affiliate link so I appreciate it and so um, yeah I'm gonna plan I haven't been planning well as you can see for a while or several months actually I just been we've been so busy but I find that when I utilize my planner properly it helps me to stay on track like I was so like out of it I messed up the day that they had their field trip last <laughs> last week. I thought the field trip to go apple picking was going to be this up and coming Monday, but it was actually Friday. So that I had to rearrange my whole schedule and everything. So I need to get back on this. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So what I like to do first with this is I like to write down all the dates um, on like a little piece of paper here so that I know what dates to fill in. Then I put my stickers down and then, then I will fill in. Um, the stickers from there so let me um, go ahead and get the stickers out that I'm going to use um, and then we'll move forward okay <laughs> look at all these stickers I have okay I have all my stickers down I am not one of those planner people that like put a whole thing full of stickers on there I only put stickers on there for the dates that I need so I'm gonna write everything in and then I will um, put the little decorative stickers and stuff on that I need that I like okay so here is my spread I mean it's pretty basic compared to some people but I just have our this is my family planner it's not my business like I don't do put my my schedule for when I'm working and stuff on here or what I need to accomplish I have an editorial candle calendar for that but this is our family one um, and what I used to do with my planners is I used to focus on one of the fruits of the spirit for the month um, and I want to start doing that again and so 
I want to work on patience. And so I wrote a Bible verse out about patience. And then um, the three things that I always want to instill in my children, which is to be happy, be confident, and to be kind. And so just as a reminder of, to myself, because, you know, I'm their first role model, you know, so um, if I want them to, to be a certain way, I need to act a certain way. And if I want them to be patient, I need to be patient and I need to focus on this um, this uh, verse myself. And I, and I also wrote, wrote here to be patient with yourself and others. I know it's kind of hard to read because of the, the stickers that I chose. But anyway, that's it. That's how I typically plan, use my planner. All right, so now I'm getting ready to prep the kitchen for me to get ready to cook. Um, it's only two o'clock. Um, I just want to have the kitchen ready for when I'm ready to cook. So I'm, I'm going to empty the dishwasher, but hubby, being the sweet, sweetheart that he is, saw that I was getting ready to empty and he was like, no, 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 I'll do it. So he's going to do it, thankfully. Um, and then these dishes from me trying to make those keto pancakes that were an ultimate fail from this morning. <laughs> Straighten that up. So the kitchen will be ready, like I said, for C, because I do want to eat dinner early tonight. I'm, gonna, I'm getting ready to start cooking, and I'm going to get my sweet potatoes in the oven. It is 2.36. These will take about an hour or so to bake. Um, so I rinse them really well. I'm going to cover them in some avocado oil and then wrap them individually in foil. Okay, so they are in there. I'm also going to put the chicken on that side. I have heating the oven to 425. Here's my chicken, and I'm going to clean it with my seafood and poultry wash. This is from a company called Eat Cleaner. I love their fruit and veggie wash, and I also use this for my chicken. So I'm going to rinse, clean the chicken really well, and pat it dry and put it on my, um, put it on my cutting board. All right, so I just sprayed it on there. I like to wait a few minutes. For those that don't know, I hate the texture and the smell of raw chicken. It's just gross to me. I like to eat it. I just don't like to touch it. So, but anyway, I digress. So there's the bag here full of gizzards and everything else that comes with the chicken. <laughs> and so I'm actually going to um, boil that and use it as stock. Um, and I'm gonna cut the backbone out and use that as stock for stock as well. Even though I have chicken stock, but I am gonna make a gravy with this. So I'm gonna do that old school style because that's something that my mom always does. All right, y'all, so oh, it was a real pain in the butt to try to butterfly this chicken. It was a real pain in the butt, but I ended up butterflying it. I took the back on it. I just watched a couple of YouTube videos to see how to do it because it cooks quicker. Um, when you butterfly it in the oven. And so then I have my um, gizzards and stuff and then the backbone itself in this water. I'm going to add a little bit of chicken stock in here in the rest water. I'm gonna boil it so that I can make my gravy. So I'm just patting this dry so that I can get ready to um, season it. Okay, so here's what I seasoned it with. And this is just, I drizzled it with a little bit of olive oil. I got some garlic, some of this Trader Joe's onion salt, a pink Himalayan salt, 21 seasoning salute by Trader Joe's, some black pepper, some smoked paprika, and some poultry seasoning. Now I'm gonna get my hands dirty again and just rub it all in. All right, so what I did was I lifted the skin up and put some butter underneath the skin of the thighs and the drum and the breast. And so now I'm gonna put this baby in the oven at 425, it should be done in about an hour. Now it's time to disinfect everything. All right, I'm getting ready to make my fried cabbage. Um, so I'm gonna slice my cabbage up, then rinse it off, um, and then I'm gonna get ready to saute it and season it and everything. All right, I put some butter and some olive oil on the bottom of the pan here, and I'm sauteing my onions for my smothered cabbage. My cabbage is now all clean in here. So I'm gonna slowly add it in here. And as I add it in layers, I'm going to be adding in some Sazon Goya seasoning. It's so good with fried cabbage. Okay, my chicken's done. I know it looks burnt, but it's not, I promise. It's just nice and crispy like we like it. Um, and so I'm making the garlic butter sauce to drizzle on top. My cabbage is nice and sauteed. And I'm gonna be making my gravy. All right, so I got my garlic Parmesan cheese mixture all set here. And now I'm pouring it on the chicken. Sorry y'all, I did not even film this, but I broke off pieces of meat from the boiled stuff 
and I put it in here and I just been mix whisking and whisking and whisking this. I added flour to it. I will not be eating this because it's not keto friendly. But I've been adding um, the stock that I made that in this pan and some more chicken stock and flour and so it looks like this. I just tasted it. It tasted pretty good. Okay, dinner is served. Here's our roasted chicken, our sauteed cabbage, and some um, sweet potatoes, and now I'm gonna get the gravy. Here's the gravy. It's gravy. Okay. okay, so Hubby's on dish duty and he's doing the dishes and I'm gonna wipe the counters down. Of course. <sighs> Should I use pumpkin or apple today? I think I'm gonna go with apple. Okay, we're all done. Kitchen's clean. Smells like apple cider. Ava's doing a little bit of work. So I cannot leave this room like this um, for the week. So what I'm gonna have to do is just put it in here and then I'll have to take it back out when they get ready to sand it and I don't know when my dad and will have time to come over or Charles will get this stuff to be able to do it so I'm just gonna start moving the stuff back in okay it looks so much better in here again this is temporary guys but what I did was everything that was in here I've decided I'm not gonna keep this or just not utilizing it properly so I took all the Barbies and clothes and stuff that were in there and I put them in these two bins here. I had these extra bins from, I can't remember, I bought these from Big Lots. I think they're $4.99 a piece. I just had extra that I wasn't using. So all of that is there, and then we have this. But again, this is gonna change when I put all of their learning stuff in here. But I just have so much more room, it just feels so better in here. And now this room looks like this. Um, I haven't decided if I'm gonna keep these or not yet. Because these go with this. Um, two of them are downstairs. They use it for kinetic stand. So I might keep those. I don't know. So now it's like I said, it's getting better. It's, um, we're making progress in here. I'm really happy. Just took Zara's hair out. I'm going to just put it in the ponytail so I can do it in the morning. Um, she wants a side pony for tomorrow, so. But it's time for them to get ready to bed. It's 8 o'clock. Hubby did a wonderful job cleaning up, and I sprayed the counters down with apple cider scent. I'm ready, girl. I'm ready for the fall, even though it's 97 degrees out. Everything's clean. So, we just have to put this Way. These are the apples we picked at Apple Picking. We'll just put these away and go through the paperwork here from school. All right, girl. The kids are in bed. I forgot to film Zara's hair. I just um, um, parted it in half and detangled it and twisted it for the night. And so tomorrow she'll wear a curly just to give her hair a little bit of a break. Um, and I'll probably take Ava's hair down on Tuesday and then I will rebraid it on, when on Wednesday because of our schedules i just won't be able to do it tomorrow and zara will just wear her hair curly for the whole week and then i'll rebraid it probably saturday hopefully depending on what our schedule is but that's it you know that's it for this week um so next week i want to focus on as far as decluttering goes um i don't know if i should pursue my office or focus on the playroom um i don't know i haven't decided um, but something a video will be up about whatever I'm going to focus on. I think I might do my desk um, Half of my desk because it's a mess girl. It's a mess um, And I just find myself always looking for something and I just have to get rid of the stuff and organize the papers and shred and all that kind of stuff So I'm probably gonna focus on that for next week, but how are you doing on your decluttering challenge? Hopefully you had time to declutter something tag me any photos if you're not following me on Instagram follow me Tag me on any photos. If you're on Facebook, join my Facebook group and share your before and after photos. Um, or you can just leave a comment and tell me what you're what you're working on. So that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, you can tap my picture up above. And you can also check out my previous video right over here and all of my social media platforms all listed down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.